Hello there, welcome on in to another episode of From Day One. Here in the land of Dominion, and as I'm going to refer to, Happy Hero Wars Cake Day. Last day of the Lilith Brawl is among us. As you can see by the final hours of the clock ticking down. On the prophetic end of an event that had a lot of promise, but ran quite horribly by next year's. Only two items in the mailbags. We'll grab those real quick. Oh, wait, 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 what? Oh, there are extra items. Hold on. Let's run the actual run. Grand Arena Defense in there. Ooh, a Boogeyman Coin Happiness Pack. Thank you. And we got our Silver Chest. Platinum Chest, I believe they refer them to us. And we'll leave the Prophetic Black Balls of Happiness. Do they're doing as this is the first day without Valkyrie's Favor. So it's either Raid or Full Run. And of course, as it is the first episode of the day, we do run. With the sounds of Dominion along with us for the ride. As you can see there, we still do get to have the prize for one last day. But as you can see by the red countdown. Extras, there you go. They're trying to get us to spend the money to renew. Alrighty, so let's start with some expeditions while we're up here. Ah, all three are 15 minute today. The other thing, without the Valkyrie's favor, the one mission with wings over on the right hand side of the map, this is no longer available. As you do have to have an active Valkyrie's favor in order to trigger that mission. So we can only set three. Expeditions to start instead of four. As a result. Alright, let's see who gets some artifact love on this day. Oh, I think Lilith, because she's got some pluses. Let's go to her. The Book of the Ring activate. And there is some artifact on book that we can run her. There you go. And yeah, we can spend 300. I'd say 400 coin. To at least give her the first. And you notice, even there. Go back to the merchant. Another plug to try to get you to buy Valkyrie's favor. And nope, not quite. We only have six, but you need ten. You'll open a chest. Alrighty, out to, to the Outland we go. Home of the land that's out. That's why it's called the Outland. We have the Fiery Abyss, of course, with the Incinerator. You know, one of these days, during a good event for it, we're going to have to just do a mad rush to see how many Outland missions we can do. We only get the first time crack once, so it's good to wait for an event that'll count for it. That'll have decent rewards to do so. But it will then generate better daily prizes. Than just the 25 coins that we're currently getting at the moment. See that right there? I believe it goes up by 5 for each additional 
fast you do crack. Alright, so, so far in the daily quest category, we can get two keys, 5,000 gold with 50 experience points, 800 friendship coins, we'll leave the magic energy for a moment as we're already over top. Actually, let's get that meter ticking. We'll do one Kira Stillstone auto here. Two out of three, not bad, and that definitely will get the meter a ticking. During this energy while we do everything else. In the special event category on this day, 15 keys is the prize for Dill. If you had spent three arms and two legs in cash with Nexters and got VIP 9, you'd actually have 30 instead of 15. There's the skin stones. Now note, since it, it does count for four days, you do not have, I mean six days, you do not have a daily fiery obsession prize there. We do have the Outland chest though completes for the five days. So we do get one more doll with 300. You'd have to spend 10 more to get another doll with 400. Not really worth it just to have one doll to burn through. Ten more artifact chests, which we actually can do. It ain't going to be worth to go to 75, but we can definitely do this one with those 15 keys we just got. Actually, let's go and do that right now. Not really good prizes. Those are some rather shitty prizes, actually. You would need 25 to push the next level. And even if I use the do one to get an emerald, you'd only have 20. Chest in the tower, we will be able to do that one before we're done. We won't get the 100 without spending emeralds. Energy, only 78 to go. We definitely will pick up those two. Doubt we would get that because you need another 3,000 energy to get that level. VIP, we're not spending money, so that's off the table. Spending emeralds, again, unless we go blowing through everything in for only 600 brawl coin, not really a valid position to go for. So a couple things we will be needing to do in today's part one. Do the tower so we can get that one extra doll there. And to do our last of the brawl fights... To maximize the max, what is it going to be? Two, three, thirty-five, seven thousand brawl coins that you can get from your thirty-five fights. Now it won't be a mad rush to actually cash out. We will have twenty-four hours to handle that portion of the magic, as the store will remain open, kind of like the. Storm stored us uh, the great storm store. Oh, sometimes the twisters stayed open after the end of the great storm that we had just last week. And I've got two more football games on tap as a course recording this on Sunday, even though you get to see it just the next day on Monday. If I can get the local telephone company's DSL service to have a higher output for upload, and then I would go back to live streaming these. But as we can tell from the first four or five days of from day one, that wasn't the absolute best scenario that we had <laughs> as a result. So until we have otherwise, this will be the case in cable companies in this area still, due to the pandemic, will not come inside to install anything.
due to as one of the channels I have watched from time to time would call the current situation the Panini. If you get that reference, I'd really give you credit though. If you know what channel that's from. Alrighty, second to last free skimp. You might wonder why I'm referring to a National Nexter's Cake Day. And that's because over on my main play, that'd be the Kraken's Parsleyans. Today is the day I finally brought that account to level 130. The final level for experience for your character in the game. So, hands happy next year's cake day. Should be happy. Mm -hmm. Cabby. Yeah. GC cake day. But, yeah. So, so much we'll let next year's have a happiness. Alright. So, actually, let's talk real quick while we're waiting. For, uh, we'll do it after this. Thank A quick one. All right, so what changes once you do hit that max of 130? Well, I've so far noticed two. And one's going to be a nice time saver. The other, we'll dress after this particular fight. The other is a new way to reward. So let's go out of the tar just for a quick second. In the daily quest here. As you can see, some of these quests have both a gold and an experience prize that you get. Some just have an experience prize. Well, the situation is once you do max out at level 130, you don't really need the experience anymore. So, these will actually disappear, and instead being replaced with a treasure chest. And you collect them and open them whenever you wish, and may collect them for a few, a couple weeks, and then maybe as a bonus feature, air them here. But they they have multitudes of different items, usually not in a great quantity. However, one of the things they do have a potential to drop is uh, little tongue twister soul stones of whatever hero is the hero of the month so if i were to open them right now the hero that would potentially drop would be martha as she is deemed the hero of the month by nexters for this month of january Other bonus perk that I've seen in 130 actually involves what we're doing right now of the tower. As we've normally seen, you complete all 50 levels of the tower. The game lets you skip levels 1 through 26 of the next day. At level 80, you saw we got an extra 50% gold boost. On prizes when we do open ones that include gold here in the tower and one final kick to the tower occurs again at that level 130 point but bitey do some bites and finish the other thing that happens at 130 
is you then still have to complete the tower one more time while at 130, but completing the whole 50 floors then unlocks a super skip. We'll talk about that here just after this fight. Go ahead and bite, bitey. That super skip lets you skip all 50 levels of the tower. On top of that, it only stops at each floor that has a treasure chest. So it still lets you pick which treasure chest you're going to get going up the tower. But that's it. Everything else is fully skipped. As such, you always will max out on Skull Coins each day as well, I believe. And so I just earned it today, so I haven't actually had a tower in which I got the skip credit. I earned that skip credit today. Arthur's the last to stand and the last to fall. If there is any additional 130 perks, I will rely on as I figure them out. I avoided looking it up because I don't want to be either surprised that there is something else I don't know or disappointed going, oh, that's it type situation. So up the tower we climb. And it's now five plays three, plays two, plays one, and the fight is over. Alrighty, level 39 has a treasure chest for Dan. And it gets us some of the candles. We can definitely use those violet items here from the tower. So we have a Galahad Mojo Yasmin with Phobos and Jorgen. Getting rid of Galahad up front puts the bitch in front. There she goes. And she is gone the ice. Took a little bit of energy drain, but still alive at 41. And we have a bunch of characters you normally don't see, well, with the exception of Theo. In a party. Here we go. That shield didn't last long. There we go. There's Astro getting a little bit of life back. As we move up to getting a chest at 42 and a buff at 43 that we'll likely skip. There's some gold. Nope, no reason for those buffs. We'll skip on. Alrighty, last of the doubles, 44 and 45. Includes a Yasmin that's quite buried in fourth slot. 
with a Dante in the rear. So all power in tanks, no defense control mages or healers really in the party. I know Astroff can do one last right. There is a little bit there. Perfect. They went ahead and healed the tough guy. Let F and let Yasmin fight it. Leaving Dante on his own. And Dante dead on his own. Alrighty, 45 is next. And we have a more simplistic group with Astroth and Galahad in front, Lars and Krista in the middle to back. Surprise at 46. This is the second to last treasure chest. We get gold because buff will be at 48, and the last chest will be at the very top on 50. So we have Morrigan and Kira involved in this next team. Back of the line falls first. Kira falls next. There goes Morgan. The two old folks fall last. So completion it is. We move on to 48, the last buff, which we'll skip. No reason to buy a buff to only have it used for one battle. And in the final, we have Astaroth, Arachne, Dante, Morgan, and Thea. And as always, the last battle, it's all fights ahead. There's absolutely no reason to hold anything back. we go we pick up the final prize this time around it will be the item we can use those giant slayers thank you we'll pick up our treasure chest of 188 skull coins the tower point prizes and that will complete the items now, you might ask how important it is to get those particular items. And I'm about to show you how damn important it is. I went ahead and did a spreadsheet last night. It first appeared during the overnight episode uh, from day one. But let me just go ahead and bring it up on screen. There we go. This is a list of items the just the top five heroes so astaroth kira celeste iris and yasmin just those five heroes items they need just to go up one level. so from purple three to orange or purple two to purple three whatever their particular level currently is just to go up one level 
this is what is needed. We need 240 desert blades, 80 staffs of Selena's recipe, 200 minotaur heads, 180 hands of glory, that's the candle. Sorry, 160. 100 staffs of Morgana recipe, 50 Archmage, Archangel's mace recipes, 40 Angel's mace recipes, 120 Giant Slayers, hence why that last Giant Slayer was nice and happy. Enchanted Loot, we're fine at the moment. Siren Song, you need 80. 280 Pastor Rings, that's the, that's the ring. 280 of them are needed, as look at Astaroth needs 4, Iris needs 4, Celeste needs 8 of them. To complete her position. We need 50 Cosmic Tremor Recipes. We need 40 World Tremor Recipes. We need 200 Flaming Hearts. 4 Iris, 4 for Celeste, and 2 for Astaroth. 50 Panaphonic Orbs. 40 Diviner Orb Recipes. 100 Book of Fate Recipes. Actually, you know, that's going to make this weird because that's actually going to change something. Because that's actually going to make it that we actually need 320 damn rings because Iris is actually going to also be an 8 instead of 4. So, yeah, that number just got higher. <laughs> So yeah, 100 Book of Fate recipes, 100 Book of Prophecies recipes. And that's what's needed just for the top five heroes to move up one level at the moment here in Hero Wars. And of those heroes, what we currently do have, there they are. Just a top list of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13 there. As you can see, their percentage to their next star. We'll just quickly scroll down. Uh, I did not want to do that. We'll just quickly scroll down through them. Let's move it a little faster. And those last three there, Kai, Chaba, and Liam, are three that we have some stones to, but not enough yet to actually summon. Hence why they're in the NA category. And while we're here, we might as well do them all. Here is the current Titan setup. Level 31... Seeming to be the base so far for Angus, Avalon, uh, Moloch, Ignis, and Vulcan. 36, the base for the secondary waters, Nova and Mari. 37 for Eden, Sylvia, Hyperion. And 38 so far for Araji and Sigurd. But as you can see by the stars, anywhere between 3 and 5 stars respectively and actually there is one update to make here again from a last night pull we did actually get lucky and pull a 250 eden so there is her 250 pack getting her one away from having her pull all right so let's bring back the land of dominion there we are Oh, no, we already finished the tower. We don't need to see the tower again. One time for the tower is more than enough. We do not need like 53 or 57 different tower turns. Thank you very little. 
Okay, so it looks like we do have some elemental season items to handle. Let's go take a look there. Alright, I guess the neighbors think they got a drag drive outside. Alright, so tank here only one time in the tower mode was needed, so we actually pick up that prize quite easily. Alright, so still zones a hero. We need eight more today. Healer skill level ten times. Okay. How close are we to the next level? Thirty thirty of forty fifty. So in other words, not great. I say we were close. I would say hold off. We'll take the level up and put four of the items on Celeste, the current top healer. But we have the rest of the day. We can always go back to take a look at the at the credit there. So, top of the tower, we get to pick up our last, um, not last gold, there's still two days left of that common, but we'll pick up that. Right. You can only earn those if you do buy the chest. And actually, max out this tree, you'd have to buy all three chests on every spot, which is 100 for everything below 25, and 200 to buy at every spot on every chest above 25. So you see, you would have to buy out at least one day full buyout in order to max out and to spend all those emeralds just for one doll and two fifty coin. Not really worth the next year. So I don't believe really thought out this brawl five day event quite too you know swimmingly. Uh, one thing, let's see, is there enough experience left in prizes to do? Oh, heroic chest, I can't believe we haven't done that, that's 50. 140, 260, 310. You can get it close, but I don't think it's going to tick off the level today. Well, let's see what's in the heroic chest in a moment here. And a single nebula. Eh. Alrighty, let's hit the brawls with just a mere six hours left. Full five lives are set. We need seven plus twenty. Twenty-seven more battles winning to max out the coins. So we start with a million twenty-six thousand team. Let's get down to the Brawl Arena. This also was very botchily handled, at least most people believe, in Nexter's eyes. As it comes from the mobile version of Hero Wars, the Brawl mechanic. But the major problem is, over there, you get a prize for defending. Absolutely nothing over here. So we're five on five at the moment. And it's now four plays five. If Tristan bites it. And oh my god, the only person left is poor old Martha. She does have some healing behind her, so it may take a moment or two. Just about done. Fighty finishes it off with aid of the pulling the soul. So we have OG or Gaia C. Let's try Gaia C's line. 
which has Isaac and company. So back to the Brawl Arena floor, 26 to go to max out. I believe the first football game today, I believe it's on um, the cock. No, that's not a euphemism. It's actually a nickname for a streaming service here in North America. Next team from Team 134 is on the launcher 25 to go for Jackpot. us. Magic number is now 24 as so we go against King of Gore. Extras, do I dare give you credit that you're actually running smooth for once? Hopefully you didn't just jinx everything. Playing at a max five on five at the moment. The other had those drops, so does Artemis. And everybody drops in one fell swoop. Who knew as the old fight goes? Alrighty, no Pego Fuerte is up next. As the magic number continues to drop to pick up the max prize. Plays one. That magic ball's just about to pop her off. There it goes. Winner is her. Hitome is next from our own guild. We have 22 being the magic number two to complete this level. 
back to the Brawl Arena we go. They say, don't make me think I jinxed getting here next year. Alright, she's running Isaac, Maya, Aurora, Faceless, with, select, with the level up that's required. Running Axel as the pet. So far, everybody is flawless at 5 plus 5. Tarf is in trouble on my side. The car gets a great health recovery. And there goes their team. We win. 5 plays 0. Team 134, 32, 90. Up next is to complete level 2 and get a bonus of 1,000 Brawl Coins. With Tristan, Mojo, Arachne, and Galahad along with Lilith. The moment still five plays five. Now it's five plays three, five plays one, uh, five plays two, sorry. Now five plays one. Arachne, the last to survive. But down she goes. And down goes level two for a bonus 1,000 Brawl Coins. Now, final round would require 30, I'm uh, sorry, not 30, but 20 wins. You get 100 per, which give you 2,000, plus then you pick up a 2,000 coin bonus, Give me a grand total of 4,000. So with that being said, we'll wait for the load-in. Whoa, it didn't have to happen. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's get that life saving going. There we go. And there's a victory. 19 to go. As so we'll start with Gurlin. We'll be next. Alright, so we have a Dante, Tristan, Astrid, Lucas, and Galahad combo. We take our first loss of the competition today. Drops us to lives equaling four. 
Uh, do note, if you do not spend your Brawl Coins, they will be redeemed for dolls at a rate of $7.50 per doll, just like the Storm Coins were. However, unlike Action Points, lives will not be exchanged at the end of the event. So do not go buying 15, 20, 30 lives to expect them to be redeemed for goodies, because they won't. Alrighty, it's five plays four at the moment. Now plays three. Plays five, plays three. Down to two. And with that falls, Tristan falls. Lilith, the last, and there she goes. So a winner is us, down to 18 to go. OG's been sitting forever without me touching him. Let's give him a run, even though it's probably a bad move to do so. All right, I think that's next. Just kind of like freaking out, going, "Wait, he actually chose him." All righty, off we go with both Alars, Krista, Astroff, and Celeste Pumba with the Winterfest skin Iris. Not Iris, but Winterfest skin Lola. My apologies. Everybody is sandwiched. Well, it's fun, and I brought two of mine. But it is an even three plays three at the moment. Yep, now it ain't. And I was right not to pick, as there's a loss. Alright, let's go with Mitarashi. A million fourteen thousand. Alright, about two thirds loaded. Alrighty, then we have a Isaac. Maybe, uh, sorry, Isaac Karp, Sebastian, and Aurora China. That was a big whack of the power. With that, we dropped three of our five. There goes four, and there goes five. That's a loss. And with that, we've dropped a few lives real quick. Down to two we go. Still not liking what we're getting drawn now. So we'll try another. Just to see if there's any hope left in the universe.
it looks like we might finally be able to turn this around and have a win. And there it is. Win is ours. So at least we're turning things around. Team 14054 is up next. I guess we lose the music a bit. And there is, as we like to say, a nice little victory. One, three, four, double three. Up next. A little weird trying to force a media server to pull up certain things with only a mouse. <laughs> Spoiler requires cutting and pasting. Particular letters. And a winner is us. So we will take that. Team 134 double three five ninety. Up next. Alright, let me mute to what might come out of the media server because I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, that'll work. Yes, please. No! The hell? You just had it. It was just there. I was just seeing it. What do you mean it ain't left? Alright, in the next group up, Aurora, Tristan, Sebastian, and Orion. Depending on how this goes, we might go into overtime, and if we do, I might snap that into a separate bonus mini code. Because the game is starting, and I definitely do want to watch. So that way, in case if it gets copyright striked, I might, we don't lose the whole episode type situation. Alright, the next group up includes Galahad Tristan. And of course, I'll have to order some nice, happy football ordering, watching snackies. Be delivered here to GC Central. Of course, using every promo code I can find. Three 
point out, and to the other side we go. Yeah, there's not much lost here. Alrighty, it's four plays one, and now there's a win. Thirteen to go. Uh, let's go with the lower rank. Maybe they we got a better chance. Lower level, that is. than a delivery fee. Promo codes have got to be a little bit. Looking at it. Alrighty, so team 1343450 That just rolls right off the tongue. He says, ultimately, sarcastically. And says, well, it doesn't fall off the tongue. Five plays five still at this point. Here comes Fighty McFighty, aka our Pac Man. And now Fighty finishes it off. Good Fighty. Alrighty, 11 to go. Gabriel UWU is up next. And about six yards. Is the result there? Yeah, I might go for just super stew instead. Got a few things to think about. We still have about eight to nine minutes of this episode to go in normal time. So we have Tristan, Maya, Dante, and Yasmin up for the party. Let's go with the lower leveled individual.
that's another win. That gets us down to only nine. We're actually in single digits now. So there is a possibility that this could happen with the few lives that do remain. I really don't want to go spending money for lives on this last day. I believe I chose oh. All right, winner it is. And we'll again take the lower in the two levels. Don't know why close captioning wants to give me in Espanol. Ah, there it goes. That's working in English. Can I, can I move it? No, I guess I can't. Don't know. Still playing five on five at the moment. There goes two down to three. Throws in the air, drop it to two. Down to one, and there's the win. Alrighty, two lives left. Only seven needed to max out. There is a win. Magic number is six. The Russian Kukhnik. Yeah, and I just stumbled over myself there.
And there's another win. Magic number is now five. Let's go with drip one. It just for some reason remembers someone else. And another win we get. The magic number, I believe, is down to four. And actually, screw it, let's give someone else the opportunity. And victory is ours. Magic number is three. Let's give Big Steve a run. Five place four plays two now, and there oh, plays one. Crack needy said to come out of the middle of the air. Venerous is doing his damnedest. But there it is. Alrighty, so victory is ours. We move on. Jubilee! You come on up next. As the count plummets on how few we need left. As we have Tristan, Galahad, Yasmin, and Arachne. Thank you. 
And victory is ours. All right, let's go with uh, Orion for the win. We win this. It's all over. The brawls we no longer have to see as the last win. The last of the brawl coins will occur. is already gone, it's four place five. So Yasmin's being somewhat of a little beyond. Well, Yasmin at least got her soul pulled before Iris bit it. And now it's five place two. There goes Lilla. Alright, this one's worth skipping because we lost. And of course, that's when Nexus is going to decide to be the bully and not want to work the nice. next. Yeah, put the word of the feet. Oh. oh, thank you for giving me what hopefully will be an easy one. With our last one life. So either we make it or we run out. As we're in overtime on this episode. And next is back to their not wanting to work nicely type routine. the fight for the final fight in the video, just because next year she doesn't want to play fairly. Alright, Yasmin does get the light, light and then falls anyway. Looking good. Five plays three. Five plays two. Iris and Thea are the last two standing. And they both go down. That's a win. With the last life, we get it done. So we max out the brawls at 48,950 brawl coins. The only thing you could still add to that brawl total would be if you do earn anything through a little task or by a member of your guild purchasing and then you getting the or you purchase yourself. So since we are definitely past overtime, let's get this wrapped up. Of course, please like, share, and subscribe. Get us to those goals of both Foxy Nexters and Google YouTube of 5,000 views and 1,000 subscribers. So therefore, we can get items from them and start sending them on to you. Coinbase.com forward slash join forward slash the personally fill that out. Get $10 free of Bitcoin to use here in Dominion. And also Coinbase earn less than two minute lessons, one question quizzes, 
to get yourself up to another hundred dollars in free crypto. Until next time that we have meeting each other later on in the evening. It's always a great new world to release the Krakens. As always, like, share, and definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other later on tonight from day one. Don't think they recorded, so let's try it one more time. A quick outro. Again, make sure you do like, share, and subscribe to get us to those goals of boxing extras of 5,000 views and 1,000 subscribers so that we can go ahead and get those items from both Nexters and YouTube. Until then, of course, do make sure that it's great new world to release the Krakens. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see each other on the flip side for part two of From Day One.